Hello everyone and welcome to the Tricky Rating, which isn't much harder than fun, but can at times be a doozy just because you're not used to the way they do things around here yet. Now this level is called This Should Be a Doddle, and I've never heard the word doddle outside of Lemmings, but so it can mean one of two things based on that. Either this should be a doddle means this should be really easy, it's like ah, pff, this should be a doddle, or else they're being sarcastic, and it could also mean well, like, oh, hey, how was work today, honey? Oh my god, it was a freaking dawdle out there, honey. I don't think he's going to quite make it over the pit here. Nope, I'm going to give him one more, and then I'm going to bash to end it early. I should have built a little closer, probably. But all you got to do is bash through this rock, and then boom, you're done. In fact, I can probably go back and just blow them up now. They're all wandering around in that nice little spot there. F8 back to bash. And then just go through the rock. And that's a pretty simple level right there. In fact, in fact you probably don't even want to see the uh, boring effect of everybody walking to the exit since we can't fast forward or anything. So uh, once we are certain of victory, we'll do a little time-space jump. And they'll all be right there at the exit. Hooray for editing. I was merely an editing Padawan before, but now I am an editing Jedi. And you won't have to see stupid crap like the walk to the exit or the bridge building ever again if I have anything to say about it. So here we are, the first instance of a repeating level, and it's the second iteration of We All Fall Down. So I'm going to raise the release rate to roughly 60 like I did last time. That should be enough to keep everybody on the ledge, and I'm going to switch over to my diggers. You see we have 40 of them now, and we're not going to be able to fit them all onto the screen at once, obviously. So uh, we're just going to have to go out to the edge here and use as much ground as we can, and when we need to move over, we'll pause so that we're not panicking and try and do all that, but we want to wait for them to get to this edge out here, essentially. They should be just about on the way. I like the way the lines move through the little mini-map down here. There's just like streaming and streaming and you really get the uh, you really get the effect of a stream from that little mini map albeit with lines broken up in it so let's go ahead I'm gonna keep my finger hovering over F11 to pause and I'm gonna start the digging process not leaving any space if at all possible just to kind of be a show off here we go oh god okay okay I have recovered thank god okay that could have been bad, and I left a little spot there, unfortunately. And I left a division line. No, I did it too early. I was going to try to not make any at all. Let's give ourselves some more room here now. You should try to space it out if you're not awesome like me. But other than that, yeah, this is essentially how it goes. There's not much to say here, really. All right, and I think we are done. That's all of our diggers used up, and we still have about half the ledge left. So you can see how this starts to get tough later on, like with the uh, when we start getting up to 60 lemmings and then finally 80 in the mayhem rating, which is the uh, hardest time to do this. I used to think that spike above the door was a trap, and like you would dig through and get all of them to safety, and then all of a sudden it would just come down like wham, and just be like, ha ha ha, screw you. I don't think so, buddy. But we have saved our 100%, and now we're going to move on. We did save 100%, right? Okay. No, oh, that would be handy. That would be handy. Yes, it would, Mr. Smart Alec level title. But we don't have a ladder here, do we? We're going to have to use bridges. And I'm going to speed up the release rate just to get them going on their way here. Two blockers ought to do it. And then we dig through here. All right, start about here, and then when we get about halfway down, we're going to mine through. You can also bash through if you want. In fact, bashing would probably actually be faster, but mining looks slightly cooler, so we're just going to do it up that way. And in fact, if you start mining, you can start from about here, as opposed to where you have to get a little farther down when you bash, so that nobody goes splat, which they might even in fact... No, I don't think they'll do that here. So let's go ahead, and now we got to start building a bridge to the top. And nobody wants to see that. That's dumb and boring. So we're going to start from the middle here, and then we are going to... You know what? I think I started too early, actually. Whoopsie doodle. We'll see when we get to the top, though, won't we? Let's go ahead and uh, start another bridge before we 
before we uh, pause real quick. Okay, yes, I started way too late to be building this bridge, but we can recover from this. I'm gonna make the builder a climber, and then I'm gonna make him build some more. And then when he hits up on the wall here, he's gonna... Yeah, I started way too early. But there is a way to recover from this, which you'll see in just a second. Now my little guy is going to climb up the wall here. And I'm going to make him a blocker about eh, midway through here. And now I'm going to go and blow up my other lemmings and release them as well. Because now it is going to be up to one of the rest of them to get the job done. So now go over here, set these guys free, and I'm going to make one of them a climber as well. See, if you know your way around and you have enough tasks, you can always recover from a slight like this. I was thinking of the solution for later on when this level repeats, but uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's just make the front guy a climber. He's in there somewhere. He'll get up the ledge, and then once he starts off, we're going to have him mine at an appropriate point. And while he's mining, we will bomb this guy and everybody else will be able to make it to safety once he's mined through at the appropriate point. We just have to kind of find the right angle, start from there, and then uh, once he starts mining in the appropriate place, which I'm going to determine to be roughly here, we will uh, bomb this guy real quick. And uh, if all goes well, I can dig to recompensate a little in case he hasn't mined from far enough, so I can like, I could dig a little, and then I can mine some more, and then I can dig a little, and then I can mine some more to make steps. And they should be able to get up in that fashion. So see, I made a mistake, but as is lovely about the fashion of these early levels, you can actually recover from mistakes like that. See, he's got a little part to climb up here, so he's okay. And so now let's, uh, let's see, did I make the steps correctly? I sure did. They're just small enough that they're able to get up and over. So uh, in these early levels, it's important to realize that you can compensate for mistakes like that. You don't necessarily have to give up if you uh, screw something up, which is nice. So now he goes on to the exit, and we kind of did this the hard way, but it's just neat to show off that you can do that, you know, in case you need to or something. Alright, I'm going to pause real quick. I don't think they can get over the rock if they walk over. They can walk over the rock, I know that much, but I think this will keep them from walking back over it. So I'm just going to kind of let them go and I'm going to make two climbers. No, I'm going to make three climbers. I had to think about that for a second. So one, two, three. Now I'm going to have to be really careful about this. One is going to have to go on and make the path. The middle one is going to have to be a blocker, and the one in the front here is going to have to bash through so that these guys, you know, have a way out and everything. So I have to be really careful, and I might have to pause to pull this off correctly. So I'm going to make the blocker fairly early on so that this guy has time to walk over here and make the bridges to the exit. Make him a blocker, F8 to bash, and when he starts bashing, I'm going to start concentrating on my builder guy. They can walk up over this, despite the fact that it doesn't quite look like they can. And I'm going to wait till I'm a little ways down before I... There we go. You have to click kind of rapidly to get them to build on sketchy surfaces like this, like slopes and whatnot. And as you can see down at the mini-map below, the rock is in fact keeping them in. There's a part that's just high enough to keep them all from walking off, except for the climber, who uh, just kind of screwed himself there. So now let's, uh, let's go ahead and end this bridge early with a minor, pause, and switch over to builders. This is when it's important to start learning how to pause before you change tasks, because you don't want to handle that stuff while they're walking. That'll just induce panic and be really crappy, and no, you don't want to deal with that. So now build again. It shouldn't take... And this is a part where you can stretch out a bridge to... Uh, this is where it's effective to stretch out a bridge to make sure you only have to use a certain amount. Six, seven, eight, no. Yeah, see, if you stretch out the bridge there, he'll just barely make it. So that's actually one instance in which stretching out a bridge comes in very handy. So now that, uh, now that he's uh, forged the path to the exit, we can go ahead and blow him up. A few are going to get by. We might as well just Armageddon them. And the rest are going to walk to the exit, which we will uh, see momentarily. There they go. They seem to be making it just fine. 
And now you only have to save 20% of this level, so uh, let's check out a fun little fireworks display, why don't we? Let's just go ahead and start detonating. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another easy one of the sort where one guy goes ahead and the rest just kind of hang back. But the title ain't just Whistling Dixie. You can actually get kind of stuck here if you do this uh, incorrectly. So let's go ahead and let's stop in there. And the rest should be, yeah, they're not going anywhere. So now we want to bash through these giant ball things. I always, oh, excuse me. I always liked the way these balls were set up when I was a kid. It looked like they were strung around. Oh, oh, see, see. Now we're going to have to go under them because I was careless about my clicking. Oh no, now I'm being... Okay, good. Alright, now we have some uh, good footing here. That that actually kind of worked out in the end. But I like how they were kind of wrapped around and uh, made to appear to wrap around and get strung around the bar there. Let's just go ahead and bash underneath so that we can just go under this ball. And now we build over to the exit. But yeah, see how it's kind of like rope-like? That's not what it is, but they just kind of set some thin pillars up to make it look like you're wrapped around, but I just think that looks neat. It looks like one of those Newton machines where you click the balls back and forth. That's just kind of a neat little aesthetic thing that I think is done here. But this is a short level. And most of the uh, most of the action happens in the middle. It's not terribly long, even though it's decorated very complexly. One more ought to do the trick, and then we'll mine it to end it early, about halfway through. All right, there we go. And they will be able to walk up there, and then we'll build at the top of the crystal to make it to the exit. Now, while we bomb this guy and let the rest walk to safety, I haven't released, raised the release rate to 99. Shame on me. But now I have, so everything should be just fine. We bomb this guy. They fall through a little. Whatever. Everything's just fine. Yes, that bridge went off without a hitch. So now while they're walking to the exit, I love this part over here. The left side of the level is very neat looking. Like these little balls that shoot over like some kind of geyser type thing. And they're wrapping around the little column here. This game is designed with tiles and stuff. Like you can you can place, you know, elements together and everything. And they're kind of tile based and very similar looking. But I just love what they've done here with the aesthetics. Just going behind and then over and kind of like a loopy thing and this giant mountain of crystals over here they're all the same crystal but they just look so awesome and so so just like cold it's crazy it's amazing i love it but this is where we're going to stop for today we don't have uh, much more time so tomorrow we will start taking up level six tricky and uh all right all beautiful the march of days all beautiful the march of women i'll see you guys tomorrow